water, energy, food, all essential to human life and all interconnected. How so? Let's start with the most basic element, water. We need water to make our crops grow and to produce our energy. For instance, to cool power plants and to grow biofuels. Every year, the world uses 580 billion cubic meters of water for energy. That's over 200 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. But we also need energy to treat our water and to transport our food from field to table. Take this steak. There's more to it than meets the eye. It took over 3,000 litres of water to make this steak. And producing it used 35 times more energy than you'll get out of it. The world is hungry for food. Food is hungry for energy, and energy production is thirsty work. These three essential resources are already under stress, but soon they will be pushed to their limits. By 2050, the world will have 9 billion mouths to feed. Between now and then, we'll have to produce more food than we've produced in the last 8,000 years. More food means more energy, and that means we're going to need a lot more water. But in a changing climate, we're going to have to achieve more with less. Water, energy, food. The connections just keep growing. Understanding their interconnections is the essence of Nexus thinking. Designing smart and sustainable policies is the essence of Nexus action. <laughs>